a fossil hay from CFA. What's up guys? Ash Bigail here, owner of Charleston Fossil Adventures. I am out today to see is fossil hunting better after a heavy rain? A lot of people say it is and at some sites that is the case, but I want to see is that the case at my site? So I'm at my favorite spot. We've had a few days of torrential downpours and I want to see am I going to find bigger and better fossils thanks to that rain. Let's go! First fossil right out of the kayak. Looks like we've got a chunk of a jawbone here. You can see those holes where the teeth used to go. Oh shoot, and this one is going to be from a crocodile. Look at those oblique grooves running into the bone. That's where blood vessels supplied nutrients out to sensors on the lips of the crocodile so he could catch his prey. We also see this in modern alligators. So that's a great find. Okay, we've got our first big tooth of the day. And it's going to be another little Angustidens. Beautiful. Well, here's a big fossil that the rainfall might have washed away. That is the largest wintel trap I've ever found out here. That is a nice one. It's time to play a game of can you spot the fossil? This one is not a shark tooth, but it is a tooth. Thank you, see it? Did you see that? This guy is a little dolphin tooth. All right, beautiful. Okay, this is neat. I just found this bone and the coloration and the length of it reminded me a lot about this bone that I just collected a few minutes ago. And let's see, it's a perfect match. That is pretty tricky to do normally at a beach site, but sure enough, that is a matching set of fragments to a rib bone. That's pretty cool. It pays to go slow. Do you see it? How about right there? Let's see if it's complete. All right. Look at that. That is the best tooth of the day so far. A little bit of root damage, but all in all, a very nice find. That one is another Angustidens because of that triangular cusp lip. Awesome. Just a quick reminder, guys. I'm not out here collecting for fun. I'm out here collecting to send fossils that I find to people that support me over on Patreon. So I'm going to put that link down in the description. If you want to sign up, the Great White Shark tier and higher get the fossils that I collect each month. The Tiger Shark tier is the first tier where you can actually start receiving fossils. And if you just want to support my business in general, the Bull Shark tier is the tier for you for that nice warm fuzzy feeling. So go check me out over on Patreon. Well, I just found another incredible find. If you guys recall back to a couple videos ago, you might remember that section of sawfish rostral cartilage I found. So I think my day was just made. This is actually prismatic cartilage from the snout of a sawfish. And this is actually a more complete piece. If you look right there, you can see one of those ducts that run down the length of the rostrum 
surrounded by that prismatic cartilage and it actually still has some of that hyaline cartilage in there as well. Boy, this is <laughs> turning out to be quite a great day. That is a really cool piece. Here's a name one I just found. This is actually a fish jaw called a denary. You can see some of the interior bone structure right there. And then a couple of teeth left right there and there. And then the alveoli where the other teeth once were. Pretty nifty. Long ray tooth. Check this little guy out. That is a fossilized shell that has been phosphatized. So we don't really have any of the calcium carbonate material left. But just look at the intricate detail that has been preserved here. That is super cool. All right, look at that vertebra. From a member of the Carcharhiniformes order of sharks. Oh, tiger sharks, snaggletooth sharks, etc. Oh man, what have we here? Okay, wow. Looks like we have a pretty unique position of Angustodon's tooth here. Pretty nice little serrated cusplets there. A little bit of tip damage, but still a fairly nice looking tooth. I'll take it. I'm walking back to the kayak. I had to set my gear down because you can probably see it from back there. Boom. Look at that beauty. Wow. That's about some of the best quality you can expect to come out of this site. That is a gorgeous tooth. Man. Makes braving this windy day all the more worth it. Not 15 seconds after that last tooth. And look, there's one hiding underneath the oysters. Yep, about the same condition, but we will take it. Beautiful. Watch out better make way for this honking snaggle tooth. Look at how wide this thing is. Man, we normally don't get them like this out here. They're normally a little more slender. So that is a pretty good addition to the day's finds. Maybe the rain is bringing out the bigger fossils because look at the size of that snail stein kern. That is absolutely massive. Another beauty of a snaggle tooth right there. Hand for size. Okay, we've got another right there. Oh man, that was it. <laughs> Sometimes the whole thing isn't there. And we've got another right there. Nice little tiger shark tooth. Not so little though. Good example of one from the modern tiger shark, Galeocerto cubiae. Okay. Bigger and better. Let's see. Oh man. Oh, please be all there. Oh, wow. 
That is a chonky blade. Oh man, just beautiful. I've got 10 more minutes until I have to leave. Hopefully I can pull a few more of these out. Wish granted. Let's see, is he all there? Pretty much. Okay, on to the next. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment below with your favorite fossil that I found. I've got a fantastic video coming out next week with some new camera equipment, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell with your rock hammer to enable notifications of when I upload new content. Happy hunting, y'all!